I've worked in a range of organisations, local authorities through to large blue chip American corporates. Although vastly different, I can see how the dashboard would have a significant benefit to the HR department of those organisations overall. In HR, we're constantly criticised for providing reports that are either out of date or inaccurate. Dashboard overcomes both of those challenges. It raises our credibility as a HR function. Some of the key challenges that we're facing in HR at the moment, they're around workforce planning for the future. What are their skills and knowledge? How can they be redeployed in the future if we don't need them in their current role? Quality and diversity information, um, hugely underestimated in terms of the value and the impact of understanding that and then action planning to improve it. The dashboard pulls all of that together and provides a really powerful tool for us to, to start addressing those issues. Sickness absence, huge cost for any organisation. We're doing a, a great piece of work around health and wellbeing. We're linking it in with our sickness absence data. We're using the dashboard and we're combining that to, to provide something really powerful. I certainly have been using it to help shape and develop our HR and AD strategy. The dashboard can be tailored to that organisation, to their strategy, to enable them to then benchmark and inform their progress against their strategy. We're not report writers in HR. That isn't where we are best utilised in terms of our time. It's enabling HR advisors to work much more effectively as business partners, be able to go out and support in a business partner way, which is so much more effective.